Welcome, UCL fans, to my draft analysis for the United Championship League offseason Little Cup tournament. Uh, today we are going to be going over the teams that are in the um, Kanto division. Now, if you did not see before, I'm going to go ahead and show it again what the brackets look like as they are each separated into four different divisions, as you can see, Kanto, Johto, Hoenn, and Sinnoh. Uh, today we're going to be covering the draft of the Kanto division, as I said, so that includes the South Beach Slow Kings, the Tulsa Talonflames, the Bristol City Blazikins, and the Real Marils. So if you do enjoy the video, please leave it a thumbs up. Let me know down below of the four teams we're covering in this video who you are rooting for to make it into the semifinals for it. So uh, we're going to start off first with the South Beach Slow Kings. So let's pop them up first. So, oh, wow, it covers up. So uh, slide over to here. There we go. All right, so... Now, if you did not see my previous video that explained how the whole draft system and how this tournament will run, I will have a link to my video that explains it in the description. But essentially, all four, um, all the Mons, with the exception of the team captain, were randomly selected amongst the four different tiers. Um, the only Pokemon that they were allowed to draft was their team captain. So with the South Beach Slow Kings, they chose Charmander for their uh, team captain. After that, from A tier, they got Ponyard and Fungus. Uh, from B tier, they got Zigzagoon, Chespin, Darumaka, and Bulbasaur. From the C tier, Golet, Phoebus, Machop, and then finally from the D tier, Rhyhorn. So... Overall, I would say pretty decent uh, selection. Uh, the coach of the South Beach Slow Kings, uh, David, a.k.a. Sensational GP, has stated that he will never bring Feebas to, um, to the battle, which might be a mistake because uh, Feebas does get some pretty decent egg moves with like Mirror Coat and things like that on there. Um, I don't think we're going to see much in the way of Zigzagoon coming to the field a lot. Uh, has a pretty decent, you know, like round rounded out team with Charmander, Bulbasaur, um, or you can even bring Chespin. The biggest thing with his team is he does have a huge fire weakness as uh, Ponyard, Fungus, Bulbasaur, Chespin, all weak to fire type moves. Now he does have some resistances with uh, Rhyhorn, of course Darumaka resisted, uh, and his coach Charmander does as well. Phoebus, but of course, like he said, he's never actually going to bring the Phoebus. Um, some pretty decent things. I think Golet can get Stealth Rock, so maybe he'll bring that a couple times, set up some hazards, and also gives him a Spin Blocker at the same time for it. Um, it'll be very interesting to see. It's kind of a nice team, just with a overwhelming fire weakness. And a lot of teams have very similar types of things where they'll have maybe one typing that they're going to be super weak against. So up next, we're going to take a look at the Tulsa Talonflame. So we got them over here. I'll just slide over to here. Uh, so with them, they chose their team captain as Slowpoke. Kind of surprising that um, David did not actually choose Slowpoke for his team captain, uh, considering he actually went first before the Tulsa Talonflames. Um, pretty decent team here with uh, their A-tier mons being uh, Ponyta and Timber. Uh, B-tier got Coughing, Leap, Bagon, and Riolu. C-tier with Tyro, Krabby, and Solosis, And D with Cub Chew. Um, kind of a big psychic weakness here with uh, Timber, Coughing, um, Riolu, Tyro. Um, so that kind of hurts a lot with it, but can soak up hits with, like, Solosis or Slowpoke. Um, also a bit of a flying weakness, again, with the Riolu, the Timber, and the Tyrogue. Um, but can probably be taken, you know, care of with Slowpoke. Did not get a Grass type with it. Has a lot of fighting types. Uh, coughing can be a pretty decent wall. So can, I think, Solosis can be as well, if it's anything like um, its evolutionary Reuniclus on it. So it'll be very interesting. Ponyta was one of the... Or not Ponyta, Timber was one of the uh, more sought after from the A tier Mons, um, but it went very late in the game when it went to the Tulsa Town Flames. So up next, we're going to cover the. 
Let me adjust. Uh, Bristol City Blazikins. Uh, so with their coach, they went with Torchic. Uh, Torchic, of course, being the pre-evolution of their uh, team name with the Bristol City Blazikins. Um, A-tier Mons, they got Gothitelle and Snivy. B-tier with Krogunk, Bunnelby, Rufflet, and Corfish. C tier with Oddish, Ekans, and Voltorb, and the D tier with Horsey. So, again, kind of an interesting thing. Now, with it being all little cup mons, it's always going to be interesting to see how things go. Uh, just kind of looking at it has a bit of, let's see, um, I mean, they got fire weakness in Snivy. Um, trying to think, there's like not a whole lot that has like, you know, multiple. Um, weaknesses, I mean, Corfish and Horsey, but I highly doubt it would bring them both at the same battle. Um, Gothitelle with Psychic type would be pretty decent. Uh, Rufflet, I think, can get Defog through an Egg move, so it has Hazard Removal there. Um, you know, pretty decent, not a lot of, like, overwhelming, you know, weaknesses, so could do very well here. Um, we'll have to wait and see how they actually play through everything. Um, trying to think of Kind of a bit of a psychic weakness with Krogunk, Oddish, and Ekans all being weak to psychic, but with uh, Gothitelle there being able to help absorb some of the hits should be pretty decent nonetheless. Uh, finally, for this bracket, we have the uh, Real Morils, uh, Captain by Froki. Uh, for A tier, they got the Punkaboo Super, which he'll be able to eat up all kinds of hits with it, being a Ghost Grass type. They also have Drift Loom uh, from A tier. In B tier, managed to get uh, Snover, Shelmet, Pancham, and Meowth. From C tier, got Azuril, Smoochum, and Whalmer. And in the D tier, got Deerling. So um, here, a little bit more of like a dark weakness for some things with uh, Punkaboo and Drifloom, both having ghost typings. Um, but, I mean, it does have some counters with Azuril being a normal fairy type, so it can take up the hits from that. Um, Smoochum as well, also with a weakness to dark types being Ice and Psychic. Um, bit of fire damage with uh, Snover and Shelmet on the field, uh, but can be countered with Froki easily, unless goes Protean and does some interesting things with that. Um, so, I mean, again, kind of a interesting rounded team for that. So... Who is going to come out on top? It's really hard to say. I mean, as far as the best team, you know, like combinations, it's really a close call between Bristol City Blazikins and the Real Marils. Um, South Beach Slow Kings, Tulsa Town Flames, also getting decent draft picks, but do have a lot of uh, repeating weaknesses on there. So, um,. I'm not going to make predictions on who will make it into the semifinals of that bracket. That is where I want you all to come in and let me know down in the comments section who you think of these four teams who will make it into the semifinals. Now, up in just a little bit on this channel, I'm going to be doing the analysis uh, for the next league, which will or for the next part of the bracket, which will be the Johto uh, starters for it. And again, if you're not too familiar of what all uh, this little cup tournament is about, I will have a link in the description to my earlier video explaining uh, just what I do know about this tournament going into this. So uh, thank you all very much for watching. Again, leave a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Um, this is, of course, an unofficial video. I'm not affiliated with the UCL or any of its coaches involved. This is just something for that I feel needs to be out there for people that don't get to watch everything um, with the UCL. So uh, if you do enjoy this, like I said, leave a thumbs up. If you want this to become more official, tweet at the coach. Uh, who you believe are responsible for this tweet at the UCL itself if you don't have a Twitter that's fine just you know let them know in any way you can that you want to see this become official so thank you all very much for watching I will see you on the next one take care and good night